UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get there, his back immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trick. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 182 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, k -Mars. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Side. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. advantage there. 
there with that land, DC. Three minutes to go. And he landed the right hand there. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Big kick land. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Oh! Head kick! Oh! Oh, big left! Straight punch lands. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, that's a good right hand. He is all about that left kick to the body. Both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, head kick attempt. Oh, the there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. 20 seconds left. Round one winding down here. Round two is next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. but just out of range. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Body kick is blocked. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Punch over the top. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice kick. A real sneaky head kick gets in there. Right hand upstairs. Three minutes remain in the round. Check the high kick. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Just missed with the left there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows.
right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. How good is that right now? Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, nice jab. Ten seconds to go. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Lee's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Ooh, what a punch. Visibly limping here. Ooh, head kick oh! lands. He's hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He is getting lit up right now, John. Big damaging knees here to the body. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Head kick lands. Checks the leg kick. Unbelievable. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Back to the feet now. Just misses there with the left. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Twenty seconds left. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice, sneaky head kick. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think he'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. He blocks the punch. Just 
missing on the high kick there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop him. got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Nice head kick. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. I mean, he's cutting him down the side. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. by that one big leg kick. Big kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, Whoa! he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. What a round. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Here we go, fifth and final round. by that one big leg kick. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Look at him with his hip. Oh, oh, that kick. Leg that kick rounds his opponent tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Whoa, whoa, he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to work very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Under three minutes remain in round five. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's 
hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Beautiful strike. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Big kick lands. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh. Serve him up, go get him. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, oh, yeah. order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Whoa! What a fight! All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you gotta think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-45, 48-46, and 49-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing 